This is a Chucky Beat production. What's up, guys? My name is Carlos Roberto. Thank you for stopping by my YouTube channel this week. So today what I have for you guys is a pretty interesting thing that I haven't done in a long time and that is use a flat iron uh, straightening hair, straightening iron, whatever you want to call it, but it's one of those tools that makes your hair straight. As you guys can see right now my hair is super wavy and curly and it's not as manageable as I like it to be so I figured today I'm going to go ahead and share with you guys how I use the straightening iron. Real quick if you guys haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet make sure you subscribe right now also make sure you follow me on Instagram at Bicosboro because let's do it man let me get my likes up let me get my comments up you know what I'm saying let's, I know a lot of you guys out there have really curly hair I know it because you guys say I finally found a YouTuber who has hair like myself which makes me very happy and very proud because I love my wavy hair and I also think you should love your wavy hair but I know a lot of you guys are into different hairstyles so that's why we have to consider using a hair straightener which is what I'm gonna be doing today for you guys so I've done this video in the past and it was one of my first videos and I was a complete rookie at editing and all that and I just didn't really know what I was doing I was putting things together for you guys because I felt like that's what I just needed to do so today I'm gonna to redo this infamous cringe worthy video which is right here it's it's name is Carlos Roberto, and today I'm gonna talk you. about it's, how to make wavy it makes hair me into embarrassed and Honestly, so I, I, I'm going on. It doesn't matter. Let's just go. That's, so, as you guys can see, my hair is very curly and kinky. Hmm. Curly and wavy like your hair. If you're watching this, you probably have a curly, wavy hair as well. And sometimes you just want to really make your hair a little bit more pliable and make it straight. So we're going to be using a flat iron or straightening iron, whatever you want to call it. Those that tool that makes your hair straight. I don't want to make my hair extremely straight to the point where it looks very like unnatural and just... I think we've all seen those guys out there who have very like straight straight hair and you're just kind of like bro you straightened your hair today didn't you I don't want to look like that so it's very important for you guys to know how to do it so you guys won't look like that guy here is my hair as you guys can see the waves kick in the curl and the wave is very significant here in the front I also have a calic right in the center of my forehead and I have one in the back since the calic lays right here on my forehead it just makes it a little bit harder to manage when it gets longer. So that's what we're gonna be focusing on when I'm straightening my hair. The first thing you wanna do when you're straightening out your hair is to make sure you have some protectant, some heat protectant, something to protect you from the heat because it's not you're gonna fry your hair. Especially with the flat iron that goes up to like 400 degrees, you don't wanna fry your hair. That's the last thing you wanna do. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you go ahead and coat yourself with some heat protectant. I'm gonna be using this heat protectant. That is by Giovanni. And this is something very simple, super inexpensive. You can just go ahead and Google it. I'll link something down below that's very reasonably price for you guys. So let's go ahead. You're going to want to get a comb and you're going to want to section your hair into the pieces that you want to straighten. And that's you going in the mirror and looking at what sections you want to straighten the most and depending on where you have the most curl and waviness and difficulty, that's where you're going to want to focus your energy on with the fly iron. So you're just going to separate the strands using a comb. blend in a little bit of the waviness that I didn't touch in the back to the front so it'll look a little bit more natural. Maybe just even do the tips so that, like I said, we won't straighten out our entire hair and it won't lose any of that natural texture that we need. So as you could tell, my hair isn't very unnaturally straight. My hair is blended in with the waviness of my hair. I have my hair all straight and as you can see, the fringe is a lot more pliable. There's definitely different styles you could do. I think if you really want to go for that very nice, clean, classic pomp or comb over, but it shouldn't take you that long. It didn't take me that long to show you guys this detail. So it shouldn't take you all day either. The product that we're going to be using today is from Joseph Blumon and it's the Blumon Meraki with this new packaging and labeling that looks super colorful and super cool. So let's go ahead and use this to create some hairstyle like Joe. May May Joe. What's up, Joe? <laughs>
I feel a lot more comfortable about this video than the other one. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys still don't know what video I'm talking about, just link down below. Go check it out. It's completely different from what I have ever expected to manifest into. So it's down. It's right down in the link below. So go ahead and check it out. But thank you guys so much for signing with my YouTube channel. And also, the subscription button is right here, right here only, where it says subscribe. You can just hit that button right there. And also follow me at Roberto on Instagram. And just, you know, hit that follow and go check out my photos. So thank you guys so much for stopping by my YouTube channel this week. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to post down everything. I'll see you guys very soon. Peace.